So today we're gonna talk about the different ways to add some personality into your outfits. Let's get into it. way to do it is to mix in some colors into your outfit. So that doesn't mean going like straight for the neon pink or the like super bright, bright, bright color because you think, oh, that's a way that I can show off my loud personality. I want to have some fun. No, no, no. You want to be a little bit more strategic and subtle about the way you insert color. So basically what you want to do is, for instance, if you go with a dusty purple, then you want to go with a similar tone with the rest of your outfit. So a dusty Dusty purple would pair really well with like a dusty green or like a like a greenish gray color as well. Now the key is to really just make sure that if you go for a tone of a color, you kind of keep it consistent with the rest of the outfit in terms of just that tone. And so the way I would finish off this outfit is to pair it with some kind of like a muted gray sneaker. That way you kind of have all muted tones throughout the outfit and it really looks like a stylish consistent, well thought out outfit. So Ash, if the guys wanted to add like a bright color into their outfits or use brighter colors, what should they do? What's the best way to go about that? So an easy way to just kind of remember how to wear a bright color in your outfit is say for instance, you're going with a bright color on top, like a mustard yellow, then you wanna go with a darker bottom. So for instance, like a dark gray or even a dark green, because that darker color on, bo on the bottom is going to be what grounds the brighter color. You don't wanna do like a bright mustard yellow on top and a bright blue on the bottom because it's just too loud of an outfit where it doesn't show that you actually have style or personality, it just looks ridiculous. And another great way to add personality to your outfits is adding in some textures. So you've got suede, linens, canvas, cottons, Whoa. leathers, wools, yeah. And you add those, when you add those into your outfit, the beauty is that they kind of reflect light a little differently. So they really actually create a bit of a statement. But the best part about adding different textures into your outfits is that they don't really clash. They're not like colors. So you can actually mix in quite a few different textures together and it won't look so crazy off and like, whoa, this guy's got a lot going on here. Now there is a rule though for this, right Ash? You wanna make sure that you don't mix more than three types of textures in your outfit because otherwise it's gonna look really busy. So for example, you can do a leather jacket with a wool pant. Those are two types of textures that are fantastic and will add a visual interesting like element to your outfit. And then we just paired it with a white cotton t-shirt because cotton is pretty flat. So what you're really playing with texture wise is the wool and the leather. And if you're not sure if you're playing with textures right or doing it correctly, you might be overdoing it or not doing it enough, definitely hit us up via text or email. The instructions are on the screen. So like textures, patterns are another great way to kind of make your standard items feel less boring. You get the simplicity of wearing items that you know already work for you. For instance, like a polo shirt or a short sleeve button up shirt or some shorts, but with the added fun and personality that a pattern really gives to these pieces. Unless you're well versed in mixing patterns, there's a general rule that you should follow to ensure you're wearing your patterns correctly in your outfits. What you wanna do is just take one item in your outfit and allow that to be a pattern and then keep the rest of the items a solid color. That way you won't go overboard or mess up any kind of mixing of patterns and it's a great stylish way to just kind of allow that, that statement piece to really pop but without it being so loud. So here's an example that we posted to our Instagram account which you should definitely follow because we post awesome content like this every single day. We have this floral shirt which we paired with tan chinos because there's a little bit of tan color in the shirt as you can see and then we pair them with white shoes. See, this is a great way of mixing patterns into your outfit to add your personality and add some style into your look, but not going overboard. If you got any questions regarding whether you're pairing patterns correctly or not in your outfits, definitely hit us up via text or email. Instructions are on the screen. And the next way to add some personality into your outfits and one that I absolutely love using with my clients is adding some accessories to your look. So an easy, 
inexpensive way to add that personality that I'm talking about is through your watches, your ties, tie bars, your jewelry, rings. Am I missing anything? Bags, hats, yes. sunglasses, belts, shoes. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so the key though is to just make sure, especially if it's going to be jewelry that you want to play with and that's the way you want to insert your personality into your outfit, is to just keep it pretty minimal. So you want to go with maybe like a watch or you could do like, I would say like two max for bracelets. The thing that you don't want to do is like say have a watch, have two cuffs, like bracelets on your wrist and three rings. That's, that's too much it's too much and that's not actually adding personality now you're just adding really just kind of stuff it's an easy way to really just make your outfit even more special and more you okay thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye bye